Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow tutorial for you today using the Morphe 350 palette. And I've had this palette for about three months, but I never wanted to do a makeup tutorial on it because the palette was always out of stock. So the palette is back in stock now, so I decided to go ahead and do a makeup tutorial on the palette today. And I paired this eye with a peachy nude lip. I felt like this would be a very nice springtime appropriate look. All products used in today's video will be listed in the description box down below just in case you are interested in what a particular product is. But like always, I'm going to try to mention every product that I use in the video. Don't forget that when my channel reaches 1,000 subscribers, I will be having a giveaway. So don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button for more videos from me. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. All right, guys, first I'm going to start off by priming my eyes, and I'm going to be using my Milani eyeshadow primer. And then I'm going to be going in with my MAC Pink Pot and laying low. All right, moving on to the Morphe 350 palette. I'm going to be picking up that brown shade and it kind of reminds me of Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to use this as my transition color today. Alright, then I'm going to that burnt orange shade at the top of the palette. I'm going to use this right above, above my brow bone. Alright, then I'm going to be going into this like burnt orange shade. Looks like a copper or like a penny. A penny copper, I'm sorry. And I'm going to use this as my lid color today. And now I'm just going in with a blending brush to blend out any harsh edges. Alright, next I'm going to be going in with a really pretty champagne shade. I'm going to put it right on the inner corner. And now I'm going to go into my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette since there is no black in this palette. I'm going to use this black to smoke out the outer V. Alright, now I'm just going back in to touch up those colors that may have gotten lost in the blending process. And next I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Eyeliner in black. I'm just going to use this to line my lash line today and I'm going to give myself a small wing. Alright, next to prime my lashes, I'm going to be going in with my Max False Lash Maximizer and it's just an eyelash primer. And it really lengthens and conditions my lashes. Next, we're going to be going in with my favorite mascara and it's my IT Cosmetics Superhero Elastic Stretch Mascara. I'm sorry, Volumizing Mascara and is in jet black. Alright, moving on to the face, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizing Primer and this is the smoothing primer and I'm just going to use this anywhere where I feel like I have texture. Alright, next we're going to be using my Pixie Flawless Beauty Primer and I really love this primer because it gives me a subtle glow um, through my foundation.
All right, next we're going to be going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in the shade Deep. And I'm just going to be using that shade Coral, the middle, the middle shade, to color correct today. All right, next I'm going to be going into my MAC strobe cream and just going to place this on the high points of my face, just pretty much everywhere that I highlight. And I'm going to blend that in with my beauty blender. Alright, next I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick and I'm in the shade 180 equals R530, which is brown. I'm just going to spray my e.l.f. brush with some Fix Plus and then I'm going to blend that foundation out. Alright, next we're going to be going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW45. I'm just going to use this to highlight today. I haven't used this concealer in a long time. I forgot how much I loved it. I'm just going to go over the edges to make sure there are no harsh edges. Alright, next I'm going to be using my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I'm just going to use this to set all the areas that I highlighted. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and go back under my eyes just to make sure that there was no creasing before I set the powder in place. Alright, and while I let that powder sit, I'm just going to finish up my eyes. And I'm just lining my eyes with my Rimmel London Eye Cold Pencil. And then I'm just going to pretty much repeat the same steps on the bottom that I did on the top.
All right, next I'm gonna dust all of that excess powder away. And then I'm going to be contouring with that same kit that I um, color corrected with. I'm just gonna use chocolate. And then I'm just going to take the bottom part of my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend all of that, all that concealer out. All right, next I'm gonna be going into my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and I'm using the shade medium to dark. I'm gonna use this to set everywhere that I place my cream contour. I'm gonna use this same palette to contour my nose. All right, now I'm just cleaning up my contour with my Sasha Buttercup powder. All right, I'm just gonna let that powder sit there for a minute while I contour my nose. All right, now I'm just dusting away all of that excess powder under my contour. And then I'm gonna be using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep to set the rest of my face. All right, next for my blush, I'm gonna be using my MAC Blush in Burnt Pepper. Alright, and for my highlighter today, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And the palette that I picked up is That Glow. And I'm going to be using Dripping in Gold. And I wanted to add a little bit more to that, so I added bubbly. All right, and to set my entire face, I'm gonna be using my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And a few sprays of this is all you need. And then for my lips, I'm going to be using my Jordana Lip Liner in Coco Loco. And then I'm going to be using ColourPop's Ultra Satin Lipstick in Echo Park.
I'm gonna go on top of that with a NYX Butter Gloss in Sunday Mimosa. Alright guys, and that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. Until the next video.